welcome back. Fubar here, and today we are talking about the arena, everything in the arena, and what we can learn from the arena. The arena is going to help you learn officer peerings when you're fighting against other units. You can only use up to 10 ground officers. Air Force officers do not apply. Also, keep note that your AIDS level does not apply in this, so your main lead officer should be at level 60 for the max benefit of the troop so your power within the arena is going to be directly affected by the unit grade of your most strongest unit so for me it's going to be my helicopter so all my units are going to be 9.2 at max stats because my grade is maxed out and over max as you can see right here it's at 152 over 150 and is pretty damn solid. The next thing that's gonna directly affect your power in the arena is your officers. The more awakened officers you can deploy out or higher tiered up officers, meaning, for example, we use White Wolf. As you can see, she's almost awakened, so the higher the skill of that officer, the higher the amount of damage, well, not damage, power you will have in the arena. Now, if you see the red star on the upper left corner here, you click on that and that will show you the weekly limitations or units that are getting buffed for this week. As it is, as you can see, it is the ATG for us. So if we look at my, then you also have to set up your defense formation. Your defense formation is just as important as your <clears throat> offense formation. So as you can see right here, I have Seal Fighter and Spanner because Spanner skill will heal. It will not give the additional effect of the additional healing at for four seconds, but it will still do well. All right. So I got Steel Fighter and Spanner on a modern infantry, and then I got White Wolf and Percy on a Lib infantry. Then I have Valkyrie and, Go and Guardian of Truth on a Vanguard Heli, then I have a Golden Eagle and War Machine on the ATG, and then I got Antony Trochenko and Saber of the Nation on my uh, Liberty Artillery. Now, this should go without saying, unit knowledge and knowing what the unique skills of each and every single unit in the game will be highly beneficial for to you to manipulating the arena and the units in the arena to your set advantage. So, because ATG is super buffed right now, running an SH unit is not gonna be viable, or running an MBT, because these are very well armored units, and the ATG will quickly take them out. It is somewhat effective against helicopters, but it's not the greatest. However, that's why we have a, a counter heli, and we also have the Lib Howitzer to deal with other infantry, and also to deal with other armored unit like armored units. I apologize for the connecting the server screen. I'm not having the best network connection right now. So please bear with me. While we're waiting, if you guys find this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. It supports me and supports the channel. So now that we've done looking over this, we're going to go look at my offensive setup. As you can see right here, I am rank 18. I'm at 149, and now the highest power I've seen in the arena is 156 million power, and you don't want to aim for units that are way too more power, much more powerful than you, so we're going to look for a relatively easier unit, so we'll be probably going with this right here. Now, as you can see right here, this is where you can adjust, and you can adjust everything on the fly, so we got an ATG. We got a helicopter. We also got Antonia Chuchenko and Lady Liberty on a Liberty Howitzer. So what we're going to do here for this fight is I'm actually going to rotate my main tanking unit all the way to the end. And I'm going to also rotate my howitzer and my also my um, rocket launcher over. Now, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a double stack like that 
and put my rocket launcher in the back because howitzers move slowly and this will help benefit in that sense. Now let's see how we do. Keep in mind you can skip battles at any time and you also got a little check box to check it off as well. After this battle plays out, we will check out the rewards and what you get for each tier. So as you can see right here, I knew that infantry was going to die with Percy and uh, White Wolf. That's okay. The goal was for them to buy time. Now we're trying to keep them off the RL, and that's fine because this bought us enough time to take out both of their Liberty inf infantry units, or well, both their infantry units, and now we are directly handling that helicopter, which was the biggest threat. Now we can neutralize that Lib, inf the Lib Howitzer. It's, we want to keep the rocket truck alive as long as possible, and we have successfully done that. Now we are dealing with the ATGs, and this is going to be pretty well done because we were already pretty much had our skill loaded, and this is going to be an easy victory. Well, it may be not be, but we may also have it. There we go. We have an easy victory, and it was all about manipulating unit placement, unit type, and you can also swap officers on the fly too to maximize your gains. <clears throat> now we're going to talk about store, and then we're going to go to rewards. This is what I like to grab every week. I like to grab the lowest costing gold random blueprint crate, all five of them. I like to grab the drink tokens, the part silver part components, the wrenches, the VIP points, and also the officer XP books. And if I have extra. I would like to get the energy bottles at the end. <clears throat> now for the rewards. If you're in first place, you're going to get one drink token, one universal uh, coupon, and also you're going to get Air Force gears and as well as 5,000 arena store points. Two, it goes down to 4,500 arena store points. Four to five, 4,000. 6 to 10, 3,500. 11 to 50 will be 3,000. That's your sweet spot. You always want to be right there. That way you can always manage to get everything you need out of the store. <coughs> now, 50 to 100, you're going to get 250. And it starts scrolling down by 500 store points every single time. Also, keep in mind, after 11 to 50... You're no longer get well, after you go past 10, you're no longer getting a universal drink. I mean, the, the drink token. And this keeps going down so far. And once you hit past the very bottom, you only get 250 tokens. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, each week, you're... A, you, your opponents in the arena are influenced based off your level, your city you are in. So level one, level two, level three. Most people are going to be in level three by now because they're going to be get, going for the highest nose when they're not in a L4 event. So by moving around from cities to city, you're actually going to be changing your opponents and your battleground for the week. As you can see right here for a level one, you have to be in these following ones. See right here, in this week, in this new week in the arena, your city is Sao Paulo. This week, your arena challenger is Sao Paulo. A teleporting will not affect your city you are based in. So level three city will be Giza and Anika, then Tehran, Damascus, Rada, and Alexandria for, port, for level two and level one. Tbilisi, Baku, um, Ibril, Baghdad, Brasara, Port Sudan, Benghazi, and also into, I can't even pronounce that, I'm not going to try. <coughs> they are in your level one. I'm sorry for coughing again. So, being, depending on what battleground you're in, is going to be how you, how you, what, well, dictate what opponents you're facing off against. So if you're having a hard time in the current battleground at the beginning of the week, drop to a lower city and change your battleground right, right before the weekly reset. And then 
go back to your level three city once it's reset. And then you can be just fine and dandy, continue farming at your arts content so you get those large reset RSS nodes and you're doing well in the arena. So that is gonna be it for the video today. Now I'm gonna apologize for being absent for the last few days as far as content. I've been sick, I ended up losing my voice. And also, yes, a couple days ago, we've in my state, we've had a mass shooting and everyone's been on lockdown because the shooter has not been found. So prayers up to Lewiston, the town that was shot up. And also prayers to the families of the victims of that. My family is safe. We are marked safe. <clears throat> and I hope everyone is doing well as they can be. So if you guys found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope everyone is having a, a great evening or day and that you are all safe and healthy. And if you are not, I hope you recover soon. This is Fubar. I got your six. Peace.